All right guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna be ranking every single diss that has been sent back and forth between Ke um, Kendrick Lamar and Drake within these uh, past week or two. Um, so obviously this whole thing, I mean, it's started quite a while ago, but it kind of got kicked off by Like That um, on Future and Metro Boomin's album. But before we get into it, I just wanna say, I saw this like Buried Alive remix by Drake. I'm not sure if it's official, cause I don't know. I didn't really see him post it or anything, but I just figured I would mention that but aside from that we have seven here and it just kind of goes off basically um, the uh, like dissing in it like how hard the dissing is um, obviously the song has to sound good as well that definitely helps in my ranking and um, yeah we'll just get in, right into it so at number seven I have like that and this one I would say is probably one of the better actual songs but I think in terms of the dissing um, it's near the bottom because obviously it's just Kendrick featuring on it, right? Um, so I think it's definitely great. It kicked off this whole thing. Um, but yeah, I think it's at the bottom in terms of disses. At six, I have Taylor Made Freestyle by Drake. Um, it's clearly just like a troll from Drake um, with its Tupac and Snoop Dogg AI features. But it's, I mean, it's okay. Not a great diss, but yeah, he just... It was clearly just kind of a troll from Drake. <clears throat> At number five, I have 616 in LA by Kendrick Lamar. This is Kendrick going back to back. Uh, he dropped this after he dropped Euphoria. Uh, and it's a timestamp a timestamp track, which um, is what Drake is known for doing. And there's like a bunch of different theories out there of why Kendrick named it 616 in LA, which if you haven't seen those, definitely go check them out. Because I don't know, I'm sure Kendrick picked one or maybe even all of those reasons to name it this but moving on though at number four i have family matters by drake um this is drake's response to euphoria and um he mentions kendrick beating his wife and you know again talking about uh kendrick being short you know how is it self-defense when you put your hands on your woman because she's taller than you um <clears throat> Which are some serious allegations, um, because talking or beating your wife is definitely not an acceptable thing to do. So, definitely some serious allegations being thrown around in that one. And it's like, what seven minutes? Uh, there's a couple be uh, beat switches in it. Like, um, it was pretty good, but I think um, the response was a little more cutthroat to that one. At number three, I have push-ups by Drake. Um, this is the response to like that. I think. Um, it works really good. It's just like a song in my opinion. It goes really hard, but um, Aside from that he's kind of just like calling Kendrick short and he's like, hey You're signed to someone, you know, I don't know but It's solid and it, this kind of really started getting it going. This is like officially, you know Now there's a response to the diss now. It's going back and forth, right? So yeah overall really solid diss good song, but Kind of just going for easy stuff to pick at Kendrick. And number two is Euphoria, which this is Kendrick's response to push-ups. And it's over six minutes, and there's like three beat switches. And, you know, Drake was talking about how it's taking him so long he needs to see some, like, um, triple entendres and whatever. But there was none of that. It was just Kendrick just straight up just being, just being mean, just straight up going after Drake the whole time and honestly I really loved it I thought it was a really good song and on top of that he was going cutthroat at Drake but I think he did kind of mention he still has a lot in the tank which we see at number one with meet the grounds by Kendrick Lamar this is the one that he dropped within the hour after Drake dropped family matters and um, I don't know how Drake responds to this honestly um, because you know he mentioned Drake having a daughter which obviously that was the thing Drake immediately came to be like um that's not true but um there was also some pretty other serious allegations like him being a pedophile him running a sex trafficking ring um so there's definitely some very very serious allegations thrown around in that and it this was just very cutthroat honestly it could have ended the beef we'll see I don't know how Drake can respond to it because everything he throws out Kendrick's just been throwing out something better and he's going deeper on Drake I don't know but in my opinion I think Kendrick is currently winning the beef 
let me know what you think in the comments and i just want to say i'm recording this saturday morning about 10 a.m so as of now it is accurate to the amount of disc checks out i believe unless i'm missing one but anything else that has came out after this will not obviously be involved in the ranking but anyway yeah that is it so leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one